Hi and welcome to another eMotion Design quick tip video. In today's video I'm going to show you how to add blur to the, a blur to the background of a photo. So in Photoshop, uh, open up Photoshop, I'm using version 7 but use whatever version you have and, and uh, open up an image. Here's an image of my son that uh, he collected Easter eggs. And uh, what I want to do is I want to bring a little more attention to him by blurring out some of the background surrounding him. Now there's a lot of different ways you could do this as with most things in Photoshop. But uh, the way I'm going to show you I found to be effective because it, it gives you some control over adjusting it later um, if you don't like something you do or you want to tweak it a little bit. So the first thing we're going to do is uh, we're going to find our layers palette. If you're not familiar with uh, the palettes, uh, they all can be found under the windows. So if you can't find any of them, just click on window and then like for instance layers, click on layers and it'll open up the layers palette. And you'll see the uh, the image as a background image. Um, so there there it is. It's the only layer we have right now. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to make a copy of this because we what we want to do is we're going to make basically one version that's blurry and one version that's that's in focus, and then we're going to combine the two. So first we want to make a copy of this layer. To do that, you simply drag it down to the new layer icon in the palette. So click and drag the layer down to this new uh, new layer icon and release and it shows you a copy. Now you got two copies, they're exactly the same. Okay, and now what we're going to do uh, is we're going to take the uh, the top one here, make sure it's selected. Um, you know, either one can be selected, but we want the top one selected. And we're going to apply a filter. So go up to the menu, click on filter, and then blur, and then Gaussian blur. You could use some of the other blurs as well, but Gaussian blur is a nice kind of standard blur. Um, and we have preview, I have preview on here, and you can play with the slider to adjust how much blur you want. Um, you don't want to worry about the not being able to have your subject in focus because that's not going to be an issue. Uh, what we want to see is how blurry do we want the background. Now if you get too blurry, um, like here, that's not going to, that, that's going to be so blurry it's, it's not really going to register. It's going to look pretty, very edited. So you don't want to go overboard with it. But um, um, you, can, you can blur it, you know, quite a bit. Let's go, let's go right in there. There. I like that. Okay, now I'm going to click OK. So now we have, uh, it's, it's, it's applying the Gaussian blur right now. And uh, just applying it to that top layer. So it's going to look real blurry when it's finished. And it's taking its time because this is a full resolution image. Um, so it's a good size image. And plus I'm recording this screen capture for you as I'm doing it. So it takes just a little bit of time to render that. But it's just about done here and then we'll be on our way. Uh, it's already, you can kind of see some of it rendering into the blur. Um, okay, so that's finished. And like I say, if you hide that top layer, you see that uh, the underneath is nice and sharp. The, uh, the top one is blurry though. Now uh, what we're going to do is we're going to make a mask. So we're going to add a mask to this top layer. The mask icon is uh, right down here. It says add a mask layer when you mouse over it. So click on the top layer, which is the blurry one. Click on the add a mask and it'll add uh, a little white box to the in the in the layer top layer there, and just a quick uh, review on the masks for layers. The white means uh, they basically are you know masks are colors that either hide or reveal the layer itself. So white uh, shows whatever this layer is, so it's showing the blurry layer. Whereas if there's any black on this, it'll actually hide this layer and reveal the one underneath, which fortunate for us happens to be the in focus one. So now what you want to do is you want to use your airbrush or you can use your marquee or you know wand tools even or uh, lasso tools however you want you want to create a selection and and make it black on that mask. So make sure you have the mask section selected otherwise if you have your excuse me if you have the layer itself selected 
and you start painting, you're actually going to paint right on the layer. We don't want that, so I'm going to undo that. And we're going to make sure we have that mask part of the layer clicked on. And we have our airbrush. You can adjust the size up on top here if you need to adjust the size of the brush. And uh, we want to paint black. So over on the side here, we're going to switch this to black. And what we want is we want it, the, uh, the subject to really pop. So I'm going to start painting. And as you see, as I paint, um, whatever I paint over, draw over, comes into focus uh, while the rest of it remains, you know, blurry. So um, we can use a bigger, I'll use a bigger um, thing for this sample here. And I'm just kind of quickly going around and making them in focus here. All right. And that gives you a general idea. Now you can see I didn't do a real fine job. I would have helped if I used a smaller brush. But the nice thing about this method of doing it is you can always go back fully just by hiding the layer to having the whole image showing nice and crisp. Um, or what you can do is you can actually paint white again. So I'll flip it over to white. Now anything I paint white is actually going to uh, bring that blurriness back. Um, so I'm going to kind of I'm going to lower my brush a little bit so I got a little more exact. And I'm going to go around the edge a little bit here and uh, make that nice and uh, get rid of those little jagged edges. Or like in here where the bucket were, obviously I want that blurry behind there. I can, I can just um, paint with that. And you can get more exact with this if you zoom in on the image. You'll want to if it's going to be something you're going to print. Um, you can get it nice and exact. So there you go. You've really all of a sudden you've really made your subject pop out there by making a, using a mask and making it uh, making the background blurry. And not too many steps, not too difficult. For more tips on how to use Photoshop, Flash, and other design uh, applications, be sure to stop by. Thanks for visiting.